Hello, everybody. No Koneku here. Here on Final Fantasy War of the Vision to roll for Dark Fina. Uh, well, kind of. Very lightly. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start with the three, four tickets I have. And uh, I kind of talk about her while I'm kind of rolling. And why I'm just kind of rolling a little bit for her and not really trying to secure her. So, uh, first off, I would like to say that she's a really, really strong character. <laughs> she's going to be a pretty meta-defining, kind of. Uh, you can almost say that she's very, very comparable to Dark Fina. Uh, not Dark Fina. Yeah. She is Dark Fina. She's very comparable to um, Black Rose Helena. That's the one character probably people are going to compare her the most. While Black Rose is kind of um, more of a heavy hitter and more of a strong healer right uh dark you know it's more gonna be more like status oriented and uh more tanky than dark black rose on this wow i'm gonna get those two confused quite a bit um okay so looks like i'm not lucky there um this is almost kind of like gonna be a little bit yolo rolling what i really actually need more is the uh the prism tickets so that's kind of the reason why I'm power plan just to roll up to step three here and then stopping. Since obviously getting to step two gives me the prisms and um step three is free. So let's go ahead and do that. So the reason why I'm not really too crazy about securing her is because he's a uh Wow, that's some that's gonna be some really lucky roll right here. If I get her here, that'd be really crazy. But I'm not too crazy about securing her right now because one, she's not limited, and two, we're about to probably hit you know a bunch of limited characters coming out soon. So I'm more worry more worry about securing limited characters than the non-limited characters, and non-limited characters kind of are easier to um, easier to obtain down the road. I say that, but there will be cases where some Characters might be kind of more, more hard to grab. Like for me, I never got King Mont, even though I have all the shards and everything ready to work on him uh, to get into 120. But um, most other of the other non limited characters I have is not him. So it really depends how 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 much you really want her. If you really want her, that battle and go for it, right? Even if you want her now. But if you don't mind getting her along down the road, then yeah, you could probably just kind of play the long run game. Okay, let's go ahead and do the second one. So the reason why uh, she's really strong and more status oriented, more like kind of tanky, is one of uh, having re-raise. That itself is going to make her kind of um, much more durable, right? She has a lot of like defensive buffs. And, okay, this is not going to look good, but I'll let it run. Um, but she also has a huge diamond AOS skill that does a lot of damage and heals herself when she does it, right? Uh, she has... Uh, so that's kind of what makes her tanky. Both re and healing skills and high damage from that. Uh, she also has a, like a plus stop. Go. Kind of very similar to how Agris was back then, right? And Agris back then was really known for like being a, a really good status tank. So just applying stop, which is like a 25% like base uh base chance, but it's like a more like 50% after like your character and her character is kind of maxed out in uh faith. Not getting lucky today, even though I am getting some URs, but not her. That is fine. Last roll. But yeah, landing the stop strike. Those any stops really kind of uh, gives you a big advantage over the other team uh, in PvP. And then I guess I guess the other thing that might be kind of big is uh. The one character that kind of what mess up uh, mage characters is Celis, right? And she, because of her Runner Blade, which blocks much of magic attack. And Darkfina has an attack that wouldn't kind of nullify that. So 
you will be okay against against her. So these are kind of the reason why that uh, when people say Dark Fin is really good, these are some of the big reasons why. But um, she's just a start of uh, all the very good units that are coming out. There will be more characters kind of like her coming out soon, so just got to be a little bit careful. Uh, no. Okay. Looks like that is the last chance to get her, and this is where I will stop. It was a uh, kind of um, it took me a long time. I obviously I wanted to put out a video earlier, but I was like thinking very heavily how much I really want to roll for her. Like I want to go the full nine stuff or do, and also there's also this banner too, right? Like this one is a really good banner if you really want to get her progress her very very far while like kind of obtaining her at the same time. At first I was thinking maybe I could do five of these and go like three of the nine stuff, right? But I realized that you could do this whole thing five times. Technically you only need to, need to do it four times. Like, like four or five steps. And you would have all the shards you need for her. Uh then what's the point of doing this one? Well, there's a uh every every five times you go for this one you're guaranteed you are and she does have a decent good chance to get get her from that guarantee but um so this one is better for obtaining her early this one's better to kind of kind of you know, get her to 120 earlier assume that you already got her well assuming that you managed to get lucky to get her <laughs> that's probably the better way to say it but i would say that uh this right here is beneficial for not just her for but for any character right every character can use prison for bots and blossoms so yeah, this is where I, where I decided on, and I guess I'll end it here after I again um, will kind of um, not show that one, but show this one. I'm gonna advertise my guild a bit more. So, again, we are trying to um, get our guild to climb higher, and yes, we have, I think we have been winning most of our guild battles. We win more than we lose. Yeah, we do win a bit more than we lose, and we're trying to climb higher. And even though the guild is full, uh, we're constantly trying to make space, uh, kind of move some of the players that seem like they kind of like kind of left the game, um, and find new players that could uh, that are more active. So if you're interested in joining a really high rank guild, uh, and or like kind of am I? Am I competitive casual? That's what kind of good we are. We're not like hardcore or anything, right? We just do whatever we can, and hopefully we can climb as high as we can. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, all you need to do is search our name and try to join uh, find us if the slots are open. We have an affinity at the end because there are other your hard guilds out there, um, but you would know ours being a little bit different by because the affinity symbol. Um, But if we're really full like this and you can't find us, then join our Discord and we'll we'll make sure we'll try to get space for you. I'll be the easiest way to kind of be on the wait list, right? And we'll let you know as soon as the spot's open. Okay, I think we're good for today. So if you guys are rolling for Dark Fina still or like debating on her, I hope I kind of give you a little bit of insight of why she's good and uh, why it might be better to wait. Um, and yeah, if you're starting to... If you are trying to roll lightly like her, like the way I did, I wish you guys luck. Yeah, I'll see you guys around then. Um, look, Nick is signing out. Bye bye.